everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Prince Caterpillar. Last time we got another flashback about Julian and Ivan. And Ivan had spilled coffee on Julian and Kiko overheard this story. <laughs> so now I get to choose between I don't hate Julian and he's not worth talking about. I think I'm gonna go with I don't hate Julian. I might still like him? I don't know. You obviously like him. I didn't say that. It's so obvious. No, it's not. I ran out of the dining hall before Kiko could stop me. I'll be waiting outside. Ivan! He's really not over that guy. Right, Mr. Caterpillar? There's one place we haven't checked out yet. Where? We're extremely close to the student center, and I might have remembered seeing plants there. The student center? You might be right. There's a plant? Finally. Good. Now we can get rid of that thing. Ivan, here. Why are you giving it to me? You know, in case you change your mind at the last second and decide to kiss it. Ugh. Come on, take the jar. It won't kill you. But I won't kiss it. Mr. Caterpillar seemed happier when he was with you, listening to those stories about your first love. I don't care. I'm sure we came to a mutual understanding that we hate each other. Take the jar, Ivan. It's your job to set it free. Ugh. I don't think I'm ready for this kind of responsibility. Ah. What? What? I really need to go to the bathroom. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Kiko shoves the jar into my hands and runs off. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this kind of torture? Kiko leaves at the worst time possible. There's a potted plant over there, and I have the bug in my hands. Looks like it's all up to me. I walked over to the potted plant and glanced back at the bug inside the jar. For once, it's staying at the bottom of the jar. Does it know that we're about to part ways? Or could it be waiting for something? Like a kiss? No, that's not it. Is it? Kiko was just kidding when she said kissing the bug would turn it human. I waited a few minutes, but the bug does not have any intentions of leaving its jar. I took out my mechanical pencil, wondering if I should poke it. Oh. You can't possibly be thinking of kissing me. That's impossible. Oh. Will you come out if I promise to give you a kiss before we part? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy shit! The bug's crawling toward the edge of the jar. Does it really want me to kiss it? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not ready. The bug stops crawling, standing at the edge of the jar. Shit. What have I gotten myself into? Uh. <laughs> the bug is waiting for me to make a move. Uh. If you really turn into some handsome dude, please call 911 if I faint or die from this. I forced my mind to become completely blank and touched the caterpillar with my lips. He actually did it! <laughs> OMG. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well then, dreams come true. <laughs> what? 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 What's up, Ivan? Well, aren't you glad I was the one who stole your first kiss? T Julian? Or do you not consider that your first kiss, since I wasn't human 100% of the time? I quickly stepped back from Julian, trying to understand the situation. What just happened? Why is Julian here? Fuck. Did I die? Am I dead? Was I so shocked over kissing a bug that I went to heaven? <laughs> Calm down, Ivan. It's too early for you to be dead. 
I pinched my arm. It hurts. I'm alive. But you... That bug... Why? It's a strange story, but... I turned into a caterpillar after killing one. Huh? Remember that day when you ran away screaming? I thought it was me at first, but then I saw the caterpillar on my shoulder. I did remember you mentioned once that you hated bugs. And... Well, I got mad and killed the caterpillar. And all of a sudden, I turned into the caterpillar I killed. It makes no sense, and I tried living my life as a bug, but it wasn't working out. You were... Huh? Yep, I was a caterpillar. Until you kissed me. Kiko was right? How? How? I was lucky that you found me when you did. Thanks, Ivan. You really saved me. Wow. I don't know what to say. You're welcome, I guess? I'm serious. Uh, I think I'll go to the bathroom. Wait. Julian grabbed and pulled me by the arm before I could stop him. I remembered what you said about me when I was a caterpillar. <laughs> that, that's... I wasn't serious. Y yeah, I was just talking to pass the time. Relax. I never said I was angry. I'm actually glad you remembered all those times we spent together. <laughs> With me. <laughs> Julie, look. If you don't have any feelings for me, then I... Uh... <laughs> Would I do that if I didn't have any feelings for you? But I didn't even ask you out yet. Your face is completely red. You're too easy to read, Ivan. Oh, is that all you can say? <laughs> Come on, Ivan. What do you think of me? N nothing. Shit. No, that's not it. I mean, I couldn't stop thinking about you all last semester. Even during break, I was still wondering if things would have been different if I had asked you out that time. And? Hi, I don't know. I had dreams about you. Freaking dreams. Man, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Doesn't that already imply something? And, and you kissed me so... What does that imply? I want to hear it straight from you. I... I like you. No, that's not right either. I really like you. I like you the most out of all the people in the world. You? Only like me? No, damn it. Ugh. This isn't cool at all. I messed up. Man. I love you. There, I said it. I said, yeah. That word. Are you happy now? You're so easy to tease, Ivan. Julian? As a, as a reward? How about another kiss? I'm not ru- <laughs> Julian's lips touched mine before I could say another word. I unconsciously kissed him back as my mind became completely blank. It was gentle at first, then with greater pressure. Unlike last time, he did pull away immediately, almost as if he wanted to save the moment. Is this what a kiss is supposed to feel like? I felt the warmth to Julian's hand as it slowly slid back and pulled me closer. The world around me faded in the background, and all I saw was Julian. There was a mischievous spark in his eyes, as if he knew he had complete control over my mind and body at that very moment. Just thinking about the kind of expression I had in my own face made me feel embarrassed. Whoa, Julian! Where'd you come from? The sound of Kiko's voice pulled me back into reality. I tried to put Julian away, but, the grip on but his grip on me was too tight that all I could manage was to part my lips from his. Kiko, where did you go? <laughs> Look at her face! <laughs> oh, she is enjoying this. <laughs> Ivan, you're all red. I knew it. You two were kissing. No, that never happened. 
Yep, that's exactly what happened. Julian? Are you embarrassed, Ivan? Admit it, you enjoyed that just now. But that's... My OTP came true! <laughs> Shush. Haha, <laughs> see? Even your friend thinks we're meant to be. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You guys have to tell me everything that happened while I was gone. Sure. No, don't tell her anything. Wait, can you stay in that position? I need to take a picture of the scene. My friend Max would love to see this. <laughs> okay. Ah, Julie, let go of me. <laughs> What's the matter? You didn't pull away when we were kissing. That's because Kiko wasn't here. You're so easily flustered. Would another kiss kiss calm you down? Kiss! Kiss! No, not... No. And once again, Julian shuts my mouth with his. In the end, Julian's not the bug anymore, and I finally confess my feelings. This is the best conclusion I could have asked for, right? <gasps> I got the best end! Yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Happily ever after. I'm so happy. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was adorable. Oh, these dorks. <laughs> So that was Prince Caterpillar. Of course, the best end, you know, meant for me. <laughs> I'm thinking about trying the other routes just to see uh, if there's any additions to the stories. Like, will we hear something different or would I just end up with a really bad ending? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care and see you next time. Bye!